we're we're filled up roster wise. Obviously, with the addition of uh, of Gleason Fournier back from Grand Rapids and Nick Oslin, and then the players that we've added uh, in trades with Joey Martin and uh, and Ryan Blair, uh, we're we're maxed out, and we've still got a few players on IR that we're expecting back soon. Brian Mate being one of them. Uh, Kyle Page uh, missed our last game, but uh, we'll be back here for this week's uh, two games, and then he'll be out again, uh, getting his uh, his nose realigned. So um, uh, where we are is is a lot of players, uh, good healthy competition competition for the roster right now and obviously things are, are good around here right now we've won four of our last five games and uh, uh, three game winning streak so hopefully we can continue that through the holidays here what kind of when you were looking at this team at the start of the year did you envision that you would have to make as many changes as you have made um you know we a few things kind of worked against us um one of them was big dale workington was somebody we were looking forward to having uh, very good defensively uh can contribute offensively but add a lot of toughness back there um you know that that didn't work out he ended up failing a physical from a previous shoulder injury um we were looking at scott fletcher really to add a lot of stability to our defense and uh, unfortunately that did not work out and we were looking for a guy like Kevin Harvey to be a lot like a guy like Adam Keefe was bring a lot of energy every time he's on the ice uh, um, you know make good sound plays when he had the puck and obviously take care of things uh, uh, on the fighting part of it and and that didn't work out so um, you know all of it coupled with the fact that early in the year we weren't scoring goals um, and then the the second part of it is we we had a tough time defending goals so uh, we felt that we needed to change back on defense um, and with Fletcher leaving we were able to add had uh, um, Ryan Blair, and then now just recently Joey Ryan, who's a, a nice, sound defenseman. So we think we're shoring things up there a little bit. Um, Detroit Grand Rapids have a lot of injuries right now, and, and we could see a couple more players down at some point uh, uh, with with them being defensemen too. So we'll have decisions to make if, if that happens. But uh, up front, I mean, I, I always knew we'd be offensive. I, I certainly struggled with the fact why we couldn't score goals early in the year, uh, but that's obviously coming now as well. Um, but Overall, we're just looking for consistency, Matt, and, and we haven't been a consistent hockey club. Even uh, our last game here against uh, Cincinnati where we were really in control, and the last five minutes we were garbage. I think we turned the puck over about a dozen times in five minutes where we're sitting on a three-goal lead. We shouldn't be giving anything up, and uh, a lot of those were just unforced turnovers by our, by our players. So... The joy of this team is the youthful exuberance and the frustration of the team is the youthful mistakes right now. How hard is it, Nick, as a head coach uh, to, to juggle your roster in this league, especially with the dual affiliation yeah. with both Chicago and Detroit? Talk a little bit about that. Well, it, it is. There's a lot of paperwork that goes on here and a lot of, uh, of like you say, juggling the roster. And uh, the, the tough part of it is obviously not having a good uh, a good team camaraderie with each other, let alone players really feeling comfortable playing with each other. And it, it seems like at times, every time we're out there, a D-man's got a new D partner or line, you know, a forward line has new line mates because of all the guys that are in and out. And that's a challenge we have maybe more than than most teams in the ECHL with our dual affiliations, number one, but also where we're located and up here in the north that it's not only, uh, you know, our affiliates that, that pick pick the litter here a little bit, but also non-affiliated teams. And we saw that with Harrison Reed going up to, to Lake Erie for a few weeks. So, um, you know, it, it always is a challenge, Matt, always will be. Um, at our level now, the league, uh, the dynamics of our league has certainly changed where it's more of a developmental league now. And, um, and you know, our job is to try and develop players to move on to the next level. And, and uh, we recruit on that basis, so it's tough to get mad if you recruit a player to come to Toledo and he decides to come to Toledo with the opportunity to move up. And then when the opportunity comes for him, you can't be mad about it because that's why he came to you in the first place. So um, just the challenges we have at the coaching uh, in the coaching department here and, and the challenges we'll always have.